to see. Look how pretty this filter is. Especially oh with the God. blonde hair. You look amazing. Thank you. So I guess you're going to be out here catfishing people, huh? <laughs> hey listen a child may lie to get themselves out of trouble but they will always tell you the truth about yourselves and gentlemen all you can do is be aware and keep your antennas up with all these filters out here it ain't safe um yes i had a few questions that i had um to, that i needed answered if it can be answered um the first question i had was um how much monthly is he supposed to be paying to pan for journey. How much monthly? According to my calculations, it's fourteen hundred and thirty-five dollars. That's what I calculated at. Okay. Um by I'm listening to you and everybody else and he showed me his check stuff, so but you guys are saying that it's like it's more so it's like I'm like confused right now. A few moments later. Miss Randall, um, let me see if I can might be able to explain it to you. I don't I don't guess when it comes to the numbers. I just listen to the testimony and then I base child support on what the evidence is. And the evidence is is that Mr. Averett earned over hundred and forty five thousand dollars last year. So while I understand Mr. Averett's concerns that he may not make that much money in the future. I don't have anything that but, uh, the ability to guess at what he might make in the future. I know what he made last year and I can yes, base sir. child support on what he made last year because that's what's been reported. Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. I can't set child support on what might happen in the future because I don't have any idea what the numbers would be. Yes, sir. In fact, Mr. Averett's child support is not even being, if, if I set child support at the number that I set it at, that's not even the max because he makes more money than that. I'm only going to set child support on the $9,200 a month net that he's reporting from his employer. He actually makes more than that. And I don't know where the money goes. That's none of my business. But I, I know his employer reported more money than that last year. Yes, sir. So. Miss Randall, you said that you wanted to move to Houston. Why do you think you should be allowed to go to Houston? Um, I had wanted, I had wanted to start over and um, be closer to um, my family. Um, I have family out there, which I have family out here too, where I'm at as well. But um, the family that I'm closer to is out there in Houston and um, I would like to be closer and just you know better opportunities a little bit so that's why I wanted to move when that may be the problem is is that Mr. Averett is entitled to time with Journey right? yes, sir. and if I let you move to Houston then that's going to have a negative impact on Mr. Averett's ability to spend time with Journey because based on his work schedule, he might find it difficult trying to go back and forth to see the child if he has to go all the way to Houston to pick up the child. You understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Man, listen, and this is why, gentlemen, if you're a man out here who's been working and you're increasingly seeing yourself rise when it comes to income and, and reaching into new income brackets that you haven't been in the past and you're starting to you know, make more money, you're starting to have more doors open up because of your career, because of the work you're putting in. This is why it's extremely important that if you're that type of guy, that you are extremely careful and prudent in the woman that you lay down with and have a child with. You cannot take that lightly because it is by far the most important decision that you're going to make in your life. And really, the father almost did himself a disservice by displaying those pay stubs to her. Because like the judge said, he can only go off what's being reported as far as taxes because what it looks like is really happening here is she's trying to play this dumb role as if she's not quite sure what's going on here 
in a way where she's trying to bring it to the judge's attention in order to try to squeeze more money out of the baby father. You see, she just doesn't want to come out and say, oh, he's making more money now, so I should get more money. So she's trying to word it in such a way to try to just bring it to the judge's attention and hoping that he's going to, you know, side with her. And the reality is the father's pretty lucky that he got this guy as his judge because the mother's basically ready to move halfway across the state knowing she has $1,400 consistently coming in in child support that's going to be able to hold her over while moving back in with mommy and daddy. And presumably because she's guaranteed to have that $1,400 coming in every month, she's really not going to be concerned about having to actually get a job if she doesn't want to. Got him. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? So recently I got into playing VR games as a hobby, and it's been pretty cool. But one issue I had in the very beginning that I just couldn't stand for was how it was irritating my skin. And I knew I had to do something about it, and giving up playing VR wasn't an option. And let me tell you, that right there is why T. Henley is a game changer. Don't leave your skin in the hands of any old backwoods skincare product. Take care of your skin. You only get one face. You should try to treat it well. And if you don't know what to do with your skin, don't even trip. They make it super easy for you to know what to do by giving you this little fancy little car right here, pretty good material, that tells you the step-by-step -step process you need to take to take care of your skin. So there's really no excuses. And to keep things simple, just start off with the level one box. They cover all the basics right there for you. They got a scrub that exfoliates your skin. Wasn't quite sure what that even meant before I started using this product, but now I guess it means it makes your skin look and feel great. Along with a daily face wash and AM and PM moisturizers, and trust me, you do need both. They got all the bases covered. And guys, if you happen to feel a little bit hesitant, don't. And because Teach Henley's the sponsor of today's video, they're offering mock viewers a great deal. Just go ahead and click the link down in the description. You don't gotta go too far, you'll see it right there. And you'll get 30% off your first box. And guys, listen. If all of that still doesn't whet your appetite enough, I just don't know what to tell you. But T. Chinley still wants to keep on upping the game. That's why they're actually going to be offering you guys two new gift options when you click the link down below and make your first purchase. So if you want to show your support for the channel while also taking great care of your skin, go ahead and click the link down below to get started. That's just her nature. That's a bunch of if you as a woman do not know how to manage your emotional responses to you not getting your needs met, you are emotionally abusive. If a man comes to you and expresses to you something that's bothering him, and it already took him a whole bunch of time to do that, and you lose your shit, or you do emotional gymnastics in order to get back to how it is that you feel about this man bringing something to you, that's emotional manipulation. Oh, <laughs> so cute. You think I can't get something I want? You know, social media has really become this weird place where if somebody feels like something is directed towards them, they take it in the most literal way as possible. Because the reality is, as long as a man finds a woman attractive enough, there's always going to be men out there who are willing to pursue those women, kids or not. But this narrative and this false reality that some single moms put out there where they think that they're still going to be able to have access to the same men they did when they were childless versus when they have two, three, four kids just demonstrates the ego that they possess and really just totally dismisses the fact that men are looking for certain things when it comes to women. And for a large group of men out there, not having children is one of them. How old are you? 34. All right. Does dating get easier for a man as he gets older? Absolutely. Absolutely. He definitely knows what he wants in a woman. You're well-traveled, hopefully. You know, your, your finances are, wow. You're more established. Absolutely, absolutely. More established, financially stable, God willing. And you just know what you want in a female, man. You, you don't require much. You want peace? Absolutely. You think you're going to get that peace with older woman or younger woman? You know what, surprisingly, I would say younger woman. Because you have more, more freedom to demand what you want. You know, with the older women, you know, they are already set in their ways. They already have a list of demands. They have a checklist. More requirements, more demands that isn't realistic. You know what I'm saying? So what's the youngest you'd date? Uh, 23. And the oldest you'd go? Mm. 40. A Chinese husband is getting criticized for refusing to go home. The wife had to track him down to his car where he laid sleeping after work. She asked him what he was doing and why he doesn't come home. The husband replied that he was more comfortable over here because she would always nag him when he's at home. She tried to comfort him only to be pushed away and told to be left alone. 
Many people are criticizing him for being selfish and blaming his wife for everything. Man, listen, that has to be a crazy situation when you much rather sleep in your car than actually go into your own home and sleep in your bed. And when a man can't even find peace inside of his own home, that's a man who only knows of restless nights. Being with somebody that make you happy, that treat you special, and you can do the same. All I'm starting, not all, that's too general. I'm hearing a lot of how much money is involved. I'm hearing a lot of what's your stuff, what you bring into the table. You hearing people say that a woman don't have to bring nothing to the table. Yes, the, what? And it don't have to be about the money. But wouldn't it be nice if she brought a good attitude? Wouldn't it be nice if she brought a nurturing uh, 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 disposition about herself? Wouldn't it be nice if she could make a goddamn cake from scratch? Wouldn't it be nicer if you woke up Sunday morning and the house was filled up with Sunday dinner smells? Wouldn't it be nice we are not talking about that no more? We talking about how much money. And that is what I believe is just tearing our community down even further. Thank you. Now moving on to made as a Delaware County Councilman is coming out as a transgender, as transgender and a woman of color. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Since that announcement, he's received some support, but a lot of backlash, many calling him childish, despicable, even calling for things like execution. Statement Webb gave to IT Made, he says, quote, it is unfortunate that I cannot simply be given the same space and respect to explore my identity that so many of those targeting me demand for themselves. It's possible I may change my mind down the road. The process of identity exploration is complex and oftentimes at the end of our personal journey, we end right back where we started. Webb goes on to tell IT Mate, this is just his true authentic self. And when you decide to change the rules of the game, there can be consequences as a result of that, and this can be one of them. There is nothing to say whether or not how legit his stance is, because ultimately what he's deciding to do is adapt and play by the new set of rules. And hey, guess it's no fun when a rabbit got the gun. All right, babe, so I just got three dresses from Amazon Fashion, try before you buy. Okay. So I'm gonna try all of them on, and you're gonna tell me which one is your favorite. Sounds like a plan. All right, are you ready to see the first one? Oh, no. See, that one, hey, look, I'm already done. No, I love it. I don't think I like the moves. <laughs> These accessories are from Amazon Fashion. Very, very cute. Next one. Oh, oh. Yes, I love the print and everything. <laughs> the bag and the dress club holes. I'm going to give a dub to the all white. So I have seven days to return the items I'm not going to choose. I'm going to return the other ones and keep this. All right, so let me talk to you. What's your name? Cash. And listen, this is something I can say I've experienced myself because this is something that women do that respect their man. They dress in a way that is going to make their man happy. Sure, she could easily not give a damn about what her man thinks about what she's wearing, but she's in a relationship. What would be the point of that? Why would she do things that encourage her man to take his eyes off of her instead of doing things that would actually encourage him to look at her more and continuously have that physical attraction and desire that he had for her in the beginning? And this is something that just fights against women who we hear talk about how a man doesn't tell them how to dress and how they're gonna always wear what they want. The reality is when a woman respects a man, that also means she's gonna respect his thoughts and opinions. And she'll find ways to do things that are going to keep his attraction towards her high. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Appreciate hearing your feedback always. Don't forget, if you've been enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more. And as always, until next time.